Welcome my YouTube family to Zeus Tech Zone. Thank you very much for joining me again on another video. Now for this video, I gotta say, man, I am very excited. I'm very excited. We, we have this review coming up and I was waiting for this. I wanted to actually get this review done last week, but unfortunately we ran into a little problem with shipping, but we took care of all of that and we're good to go. Let me go ahead and show you what I have. So this thing came in. As you can see, it's all sealed up. Let's go ahead and open up this baby. Cause I am excited. I'll tell you that guys. Let's go ahead and open this up here. Yeah, baby. Well, 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 what do you know? That is correct. You're looking at the Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G. This is the phone that I've been wanting to get. Now I wouldn't mind the fold, right, from Samsung. I thought that was a that's one of the phones that I really wanted to get. But oh, uh, you know, I'm going through buying the phone myself, right? So it's pretty expensive, right? But this one, I was able to go ahead and get a good deal uh, from T-Mobile. Samsung does have some good deals going on on their site as well. If you're interested, go right ahead. You know, they do have some good deals where they're giving you maybe $150 to $200 off the phone price to be able to go ahead and get this phone. But they're also doing something where they're actually, you could trade in. So if you have some old phones laying around, I think it's Samsung, LG, Google, and Apple. They're only doing from four manufacturers. So if you want to trade some of those phones in, go ahead and trade them in. You could go ahead and get some uh, savings. Uh, I think it goes all the way up to like a 600, I think it was, six or 800, something like that. Uh, basically bringing the price to this, maybe to $200, $400. Uh, depending on what you trade in what i did and this is not a secret or anything like that what i did is i went to t-mobile and if you look at t-mobile because that's my carrier that's who i normally go through uh when i went ahead and went through t-mobile if you have the magenta uh, the magenta max plan on your phone and you have an eligible device that you could actually trade in you could actually get this phone for free basically right depending on the trading of your phone now, the one that I had was, I don't have Magenta Max on it, but what they were also offering is, if you don't have Magenta Max, and you wanna to stick to the old plan or whatever plan you have at the moment, you could still trade in a phone, but instead of getting $1,000 off that price, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get half, only 500. I said, the hell with it, why not? I have a OnePlus 7T that I've been holding on for a while. That's, you know, it was, it's a good phone. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and talk about it in another review. They're giving me 500 for it. I'll take it. It's half the price off of this. So you're getting this basically for 500 bucks. Not bad, but enough talking. Let's get into it because I wanna go ahead and open this baby up. I wanna see how it looks because it's a first impression, man. I really, really excited about this. So let's go ahead and open this up and check it out. So now, so here you have it. Here's the box. So now let's go ahead and open this baby up. Let's go ahead and check this out, man, because I really want to get into this. Bam. Bam. Put that to the side. Here you go, people. Let's go ahead and open this baby up. There you go. Look at that. There's the phone. It looks nice. It has that matte black. Let's check this out. Let's see what else do we have in here. Okay, this is probably going to be all your, your documentation. Uh, Samsung, if you're listening, man, throw some stickers in there. Come on, guys, throw some stickers. You know, Jesus Christ, it's not that bad. I like it when you guys do something like that. Um, so, you know, you got your normal, you know, Pradica, and Inicio, you know, that's, uh, I don't know if that's Spanish or not, but um, you got a world of benefits that's waiting for you, right? So, it's not bad. Just a quick start guide. And so, let's go ahead and move this to the side. <clears throat> you got, it comes also with, you know, your little pin to be able to go ahead and change your uh, SIM card. It comes with one cable, which is type C to type C, right? You can be able to go and charge that baby, and that's it. Little by little, they're not even giving you guys a charging brick or anything like that, so. This up here. There you go. Look at that, guys. Check that out. That looks nice. I like this. <clears throat> While it's turning on, let's go ahead and take a look at it. I love the metal frame on this. And let me go ahead and compare that to the One Seven Plus. As you can see, it does look thin too. Comparing it, it's actually thinner. 
let's compare that to the this is the 4a 5g this is the 4a 5g right there right this is the lg wing see that so now we can be able to go ahead and see in regards to the size i could also compare this to my apple phone and you could see with the apple pro it's almost the same size and thickness you can see that it's almost the same size when it comes to the thickness of it it's not that bad it's just that it's longer which is good all right so let's go ahead and take a look around the phone so on the side here you have your little sim card where you can go ahead and put this in this is actually going to go ahead and be part of the antenna uh, let's go ahead and flip it to the other side you have your microphones and you have your speaker you have your type c uh, connector there to go ahead and be able to charge uh, this turn on and you turn off button but this is actually also a fingerprint reader so Samsung went ahead and uh, put that on this one, so which, which is pretty cool. I, I don't mind that. I use fingerprint security all the time. I, I think that that's better for me uh, than to, to then to be doing face recognition. But to each their own. Everybody has their own way of how they want to secure their phone. So it's completely up to you guys. Uh, you do have your volume up and down. So you could be able to go ahead and raise it and lower it. Now, I, I will say this. I will say this about Samsung because I do notice this on some of their other phones that they have. This part here, right, that's the volume, right? A lot of the times, I'm so used to trying to feel, right, because you're trying to lower the volume or raise the volume in this situation. And a lot of the times, because it's one whole button, I sometimes, I might go ahead and get the middle of it and I'll do the opposite of what I want, right? Because I want to lower it, but because I don't feel that there's a divider there to click low, I sometimes might click in the middle and i'll go ahead and raise it instead and i'm like oh jesus christ that's not what i want so you know you go ahead and just make an adjustment on your apple phone you do have that you have your high and your low so you could go ahead and be able to feel and know which one is which and click on it right away to be able to go ahead and do that but that's you know that's samsung that's the way they have it you know it's something that you might get used to so it doesn't gonna so it's not gonna bother you as much now what i'm gonna do if for the first time i'm actually gonna go ahead and close this Oh my God, that is so satisfying. <laughs> when I went ahead and closed it. You do see the Samsung uh, logo there. Let's go over the specs uh, of the phone. All right, so let's go ahead and let's start off with the body of the phone. So the body of the phone, it looks like this whole thing is gonna weigh 183 grams. It also has the build where, of course, you have the plastic front, but for the back, you have actually a uh, Gorilla Glass called Victus. It's an aluminum frame all the way around. I know how we are. We're still going to go ahead and protect our phones with cases. The phone is also IPX8 water resistant. So it's not bad, right? You could, you know, you don't want to go ahead and leave it in water for too long, but it is able to resist water as deep as 1.5 meters for like 30 minutes. So just keep that in mind. But I mean, I think the one, the one thing you have to worry about this phone the most is going to be the dust dust particles getting into the hinges stuff like that that's where you're going to probably worry about the most so let's go ahead and look at the display so on the display you're looking at a foldable dynamic amoled 2x which is also doing 120 hertz which is perfectly fine you could go ahead and do 120 hertz on this phone and it's going to go ahead and give you some nice smooth reaction when you're scrolling down the internet uh, it's going to be awesome for playing video games right you're getting some good smooth transaction when it comes to the screen it does give you a 6.7 inch so you have uh, 1080 by 2640 pixels, which gives you a density of about 426 PPI, which is good for video. So once you're watching videos, you're nice long screen right there. All right, so what I did is I went ahead and uh, inserted my SIM card so that way we could be able to move forward while that's doing its thing. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about the phone. So, uh, and we'll get back to the front display because I want to go ahead and show you guys the display on the front and so you guys can be able to see how it looks. The phone itself though, you're running actually Android 11 right off the bat. Uh, you have a Snapdragon 888. So that way you know that you're running the latest chip. So it's a fast phone. So that's going to be great for that. So now let's look at the memory. The one that I went ahead and picked up, this is actually from T-Mobile. So I went ahead and picked up the 128 gigabyte uh, storage with eight gigabytes of RAM. It does go all the way up to 256 uh, gigabyte if you want to do that. And I totally recommend it, the 256. I like to do the 128 because for me, that's enough storage for what I use the phone. So on the back, we have two cameras. Now they're both 12 megapixel cameras. One of them is gonna be a wide and the other one is gonna be a ultra wide. And that's what you have in the back. Now, what's cool about these cameras though is that you could run 4K video either at 30 or 60 frames per second. So that's not bad to be able to do 4K on this one here. 
And what's cool about it is, of course, you can now fold your phone any way you want to this way because it becomes actually mostly like a stand for you, right? So you could actually uh, give it that angle that you want to go ahead and record. So that's pretty cool. Back to the camera. So the camera on the front, we're looking at a 10 megapixel camera and it's a wide angle type of camera that you have right up in the front. Now I did mention that the ones in the back, you could go ahead and do 4K at 30 to 60 frames per second. Well, the one in the front, you could actually do 4K as well at 30 frames per second. And we'll be testing all that out when we go ahead and do the review, but that's pretty cool, man, that you could be able to go ahead and do that. I gotta tell you, the AMOLED display on this thing is freaking amazing, it looks beautiful. The screen looks amazing on this. And how it responds is perfect. I, th I think it's great. Now, I, I will say this, when you're actually moving this up and down, you could feel that crease right in the middle. You could feel it. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this on here, but it does have it. And it's fine. I mean, you it's something you're gonna to have to learn to live with because if it's a flip phone, it's gonna happen that way. Now that we have the display open, I wanna go ahead and show you guys this. So when you go ahead and close it, you do have your display up here in the front. That's freaking cool. Compared to the one that came out last year, this is perfect, man. You actually be able to see everything that you want on this. You could add widgets to it. You can see messages, control your music on here, right? And the phone is closed. So to me, and then actually, you know what? This little screen here is, as I'm going through this right now, this actually looks like if you were, if you were using your watch, it actually uses the same type technology, I think. But that's the screen, guys. I thought that that was pretty cool that you could be able to go ahead and use it that way. And of course, like anything, it's glass. So your fingerprints are gonna go ahead and get on there. But let's get back to the phone. So, so now when it comes to music, it does have, uh, let me see if I can go to YouTube. So we can go ahead and play a video that we can hear the audio on it. I'm so used to, <laughs> I'm so used to the volume being on this side. It's actually over here now. So that's high right there. You could hear some of the audio coming on this side as well. So it does have stereo speakers on this thing. There is no 3.5 millimeter jack on it. So don't think of it. There is one, not on this one. Uh, so the sound is, the sound is not bad. I like that. It's pretty good. So the stereo speakers do it well. I'll say that. I love it. So one of the features that it does have it, that we haven't seen for a while in regards to the phones that are coming out, it does have a fingerprint reader right on the side right here. So this right here is actually your fingerprint reader right there, which is good. It all depends on you, right? Because uh, to me, to be honest with you, a, a lot of people out there, they like the whole face recognition. As soon as they open the phone, it recognizes your face and it go ahead and opens up and unlocks the phone. Uh, for me, you know, yeah, that's, that's awesome. I love to do that as well. Uh, but when it comes more to security, I like to go ahead and just do my fingerprint. I think that that's pretty secure uh, for somebody to go ahead and, you know, unless you're sleeping and somebody grabs your thumb and puts it up against the phone. <laughs> to me, that would be like the only way they could be able to chop your hand off and use your fingers that way. Uh, but I don't mind the fingerprint reader. I think that's pretty cool and that it has it right on the side. I think that's pretty cool. So that's your fingerprint reader. Now, the battery size on this phone is actually a 3300 milliamp. Now, to me, I got I to gotta be honest with you guys. I thought that they would put something bigger than a 33 because I felt that, you know, being that the display went up to 120 hertz, uh, I thought that that was going to go ahead and uh, give us a maybe a bigger battery on this. The 3300 might work for some people. I'm going to go ahead and try it out. I want to see how good is it in my daily use and see if it's uh, able to go ahead and withstand a whole day of power. Now, I will say this. I have battery packs that I carry with me. So if I really needed to, I could just grab one from my school bag and connect it and put it on there and then we're good to go. I also have wireless chargers at work, right? So if you're at work or in your car, you're always going to go ahead and be connecting your phone, right? So the battery juice is always going to be there. It's at hand now. It's not like before where so many people would be like, oh, I have to get home. And when I get home, I got to charge it. You know, no, it doesn't do none of that. Nowadays, everybody has chargers everywhere. But uh, in regards to the charging, since we're talking about that, it does have fast charging, but only up to 15 watts. So just so you know, if you, you could buy a 60 watt charger, a 75 watt charger, a 200 watt charger, and it doesn't matter. It's only gonna be able to charge up to 15 watts, and that's it. If you wanna go ahead and do the wireless charging, right? If you wanna go ahead and put it up against a wireless charger, and you wanna go ahead and charge it this way, it's only gonna give you 10, 10 watts when you're charging wirelessly, 10 watts and that's it. It also has reverse wireless charging, but only at 4.5 watts. So it's nothing tremendous, it's a slow charge. 
I don't see myself sharing my battery with anybody else or anything else on my arsenal because uh, this phone already has a small battery. But there you have it, guys. Those are uh, some of the specs on the phone. I, I, I got to tell you guys, I'm excited about, about this one. I did also go ahead and purchase some cases. I have like five cases that we could go ahead and go over, and I'll go ahead and review that next. I'm, I am going to go ahead and get the Fold one way or another. I just got to wait for it to get at a good price to be able to go ahead and pick it up. We're not all made of money. So, but anyways, guys, thank you very much for checking out the video. I hope you guys liked it. Let's go ahead and start playing with this little thing, because I got to tell you, boy, I'm in love. Uh, but with that, guys, I go ahead and leave you. Hit like, comment, and share the video. And I'll go ahead and talk to you guys on the next one. So, adios muchachas y muchachos. Have a good one. Take care and be safe. Adios. I don't know if the Z stands for Zeus. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But it's there. And I'll take it. <laughs>